<laughs> Action! Hey guys, I'm Mikey Swartz, Tacoma Apocalypse. You're watching this on the Whip Bash YouTube channel. This is part of the Tacundra series. That is where we're taking this here 5.7 liter V8 out of a Tundra and putting it into a 2005 Tacoma. How about one more time and I'll just annihilate it. Go! Full pedal to the metal, kids! Now I already test fit this engine and I'm just about to put it in for good. But before I do that, I'm going to remove some emission stuff on this. So this episode is going to be all about getting rid of emission stuff from the 5.7 V8. And the first thing you're going to have to do is get rid of this. All right. But I just wanted to put it on there to show you guys how pretty it is. I wanted to make this whole system completely disappear. So we started by removing the exhaust manifolds. We already recorded doing that, so I'm going to show you that right now, and then we'll get to the rest of the stuff under this intake manifold. We're a little unclear on what's holding these in. This one's obviously welded around, but these can't really see. But we're going to start by cutting all these off and then tap on this and see if we can knock it loose. We're kind of winging it, but we'll figure it out. Tim stopped by, folks. Right, Tim. So we're trying to figure out what's exactly holding that well, one of there. You're going to have to either weld these ports closed yeah. or yeah. drill and tap. I think we're just going to drill, weld tap, them. and put like just like we did the drift truck. Yeah. I don't think it's going to pop. It's going to pop out. No. No. Mm -mm. Go to smack. See what happens. Breaking off. Oh, it is. Perfect. So now you just... Let me see that for the viewers. Alright. Yeah. Not bad. So it kind of just broke off there. Alright. So now, just, we just have to drill and tap. Oh, we just have to weld them shut. Or weld them shut. Okay. Weld them well, shut. oh, it is steel. It is just flat. It's, it's stainless, yeah. supposedly. I don't mind the, the plug idea. Because you have a lot of material. You yeah, but get it's gonna nice be so much easier to weld. Okay. Well, do you have can well welding stainless is you're not set up necessarily. No, I just weld it with steel. I ain't sweating that. You guys sweating it? I ain't sweating it. I ain't sweating it. Now I'm going to weld these holes shut. So I got to hit this, uh, let's see, like right in here. There's one and there's one. Hopefully I can get them done from the outside so I don't have to grind off the welds then.
actually welded pretty good considering how like dirty it is. And from inside, nothing came through too deep. So we won't even have to grind anything off. Just so these bolts don't knock right off. Here. That'll seal her up. Okay, so I put the manifolds back on now, and now we're ready to get rid of this stuff. This is the air switching valve valves back here, right on top of the transmission. Obviously, they run underneath the intake manifold. That's why I decided to pull the manifold off so I can get to everything else here. These are the secondary air lines that run in here. I want to get rid of that stuff too, and they run in underneath that manifold as well. I already went ahead and took all these bolts off. There's one, two, three, four, five on each side. I also had to pull a lot of hoses like these that run to the throttle body and these that run to the valve covers. I also had to unplug these two little things. I'm gonna just fold those wires out of the way and we'll just lift this up off of here. If it'll go, there is a lot of stuff in the way that you kind of have to sneak past here, but it will come off. Oh, mouse nest. I hope there's none still in there. Ugh, stink bugs. Okay, that's freaking lovely. All right, I need the shop back now. These are there to prevent some of that stuff from getting in there. Although, uh, once you have a mouse chew through it or whatever, I guess they don't do a whole lot. All right, that's out of the way. I wanna get rid of these tubes the whole way up to the front, so I'm just gonna start up here. Start with this one right here, I'm good. I'm gonna keep all these nuts and bolts right here just in case. Let's see, what's next? Right here. You know what? I really don't wanna drop anything down in here. Maybe just to be safe, I should stuff something in there. I think that would be best. Just cover these holes up with something. That would be pretty tragic if we dropped another bolt down in there and missed it. That would probably result in some catastrophic failure. Three bolts holding them down. And I can see that's loose now. Oh, that's gonna be pretty easy to pull out of there. This is the plug for the electric throttle body. And that's attached, so we just undo that. Okay, how about we just unplug these? Three bolts holding them down from the top, pretty simple. And then these tubes should pull out. Here, let me take that bracket off and then we'll pull them out like this. All right, throw that in the trash. This plug that I had to unplug to get to the bolts, that is a sub harness for the knock sensors. So that will definitely be getting plugged back in. Now, let me pause this while I figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Well, just to find out what all lives under here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this piece out of here so we can see what's under it. Also, then I can clean up all the junk that's underneath it. So I'm gonna unplug these knock sensors and get this wiring out of the way. You know, I'm gonna assume these all plug in the same, but they definitely have black on the driver's side, gray on the passenger side. So you wanna take a note of that if you're doing this yourself. Make sure you plug them back in correctly. Those are clipped down to this thing. I'm just gonna let them clipped on there. Now we need our 10 mil again to unbolt this thing. One more bolt back here in from the back side. And it looks like we actually have to lift and then slide this forward to get it to come out because there is a little hose there that's stuffed in back here. 
Looks like it goes into the block, and I think that's a breather for the block. There's another breather right there. That must drop down into this side of the block. So it looks like we're going to have to keep this thing in here. So I'm just going to set it to the side for now and vacuum some more stuff out of this. All right, that's much better, you guys. And it's pretty dry in there, too. I like that. A little moisture right here. Doesn't seem to be anything too concerning, though. Now, the other thing I wanted to get rid of, or at least plug up, is this coolant line. So I'm just gonna loop this with a new piece of hose. For now, I'm gonna start putting this all back together. And I got new intake manifold gaskets to go in here. I also have new valve cover gaskets. I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw them on here too. So this big plastic piece, as we decided, will stay here. We gotta slide that back in and then down in here. Then the bolts can go back in. This bolt is a longer one and that would be the shorter one. Plug the knock sensors back in. And don't forget this main plug. I think that's gonna conclude this episode. Get this camera set up here. Put that shit on me instead. Now I get some talk time in here. Make sure you come on back to the Whip Bash channel and see this here Tecundra swap getting done.